Hello classmates, I hope you're having a great day. My name is Arky and I'm going to discuss about hardness testing. Before we go deeper, let us first define the terms. So what is hardness and hardness testing? Hardness, it is the property of resisting penetration or permanent distortion. It is the quality or condition of being hard. Hardness testing. It is a test to determine the resistance a material exhibits to permanent deformation by penetration of another harder material. Also enables to evaluate the material's properties such as strength, ductility, and wear resistance, which can help you determine if it is suitable for the purpose it requires. How did the development of hardness testing become a great help nowadays? The development of hardness testing has solved problems such as checking the comparative strength of manufactured articles without destroying or hammering, harming them in the way. Taking into consider that all of this may have been taken from a different location, or it may not have been subjected to the same fabricating stresses. For example, a turbine blade, before it becomes a product, the materials that will use will undergo several hardness testing in order for it to be called as desired product. There are four methods of determining of hardness of metals. Brunel, Rockwell, Vickers, and Shores scleroscope. Before testing, it is important that the tested surface should be smooth and free from scratches ridges, scales, or other uneven unevenness. The specimen must also be sufficiently thick so that the impression made by the testing apparatus does not plunge the opposite side and give it a false reading. Care must also be taken so that there is sufficient edge distance to avoid any deflection due to the depression. <coughs> Let us first discuss the Brunel hardness testing. The Brunel test consists of pressing hardened steel ball under a known press pressure in, into a flat surface of the specimen to be tested. For testing steel, a ball 10 mm in a diameter under a pressure of 3,000 kg or 6,600 pounds is used. The load must be applied for at least 10 seconds before release. The area of impression made by the ball is measured by a calibrated microscope that reads accurately to 0.05 mm. The Brunel number is the load in kilograms divided by the area of the spherical surface of the impression in square millimeters. Down there, there is the formula to find Brunel number. To find the Brunel hardness, HB, you will divide the test force F, the surface area of indentation A. Next, let's go to the Rockwell hardness testing. Rockwell hardness is determined by measuring the penetration of diamond cone or hardened steel ball under definite loads. The machine first applies a minor load of 10 kilograms. The direct reading dial is set to zero and a major load is applied. The, force, the forces the penetrator in the metal and after removal of the load, the Rockwell hardness can be read from the dial. The Rockwell apparatus is very generally by aircraft manufacturing concerns because of its direct reading qualities, ease of operation, and reliability. The Rockwell hardness can be calculated by means of subtracting 0.2 by the permanent depth of indentation E times 500. Next is the diamond pyramid hardness or pyramid hardness testing or most commonly known as the Vickers hardness test. 
testing. The weaker hardness test is made with a diamond penetrator in the form of square base pyramid having include angle of 136, a normal loading of 30 kilograms is used for homogeneous material 5 kilogram load for soft, thin, or surface hardened materials. The penetrator used is for sided diamond shape. To find the Vickers hardness, H HB, you will divide the test force F to the surface area of indentation A. The other picture attached is penetrator used, which is again a four-sided diamond shape. Last but not the least, it is the Shore Scleroscope Hardness Testing. Scler Shore Scleroscope Hardness Testing consider of dropping a small diamond-pointed hammer from a fixed height and measuring the comparing the height of rebound. The rebound is measured directly on a vertical scale in one instrument and in another it is registered. The average of five separated separate determination is usually taken as the hardness of a part. By this means, error due to rebound or to hard spot in the material is eliminated. The picture attached on the left is apparatus, apparatus used when performing the scleroscope hardness test. And the picture on the right is a visual of how the hardness test is performed. And with that, I hope you all learn from me. Bye.